Last year, the government brought in another section in the Tax Act, and it's really to do with tax avoidance. To me, it's about taking all the fun out of life. And what they've done is with trusts, they've now got a rule regarding distributions to family members. And in the past, we've looked at people, and particularly when you've had kids at uni and gone, that's great, Billy's doing a little bit of work at Macca's while he's at uni, but we can take him up to $45,000, which is the top of the 19 cent, 10 cent tax bracket, rather than mum and dad paying tax at, at 37.5 or 42%, that's a great win. But the ATO have kind of cottoned on to this, and it's the usual story, the big end of town have wrecked it for the majority. But they brought a new rule in saying if you're distributing to family members that aren't really mum and dad, and I say mum and dad because that's the, the general consensus, um, whatever your um, preference is doesn't mean it has to be mum and dad, I'm not trying to be sexist or anything like that, just explaining it. Um, but if it's outside the, the, the two main stakeholders in a, in a trust, then you distribute money to them, then you actually need to distribute the money to that person within two years of making that distribution. But that's doable. If you still got Billy who's at uni, we want to distribute to him. We just need to make sure that the cash that mum and dad are giving him to, to live while he's at uni or paying his, his uni fees or paying his, his board or rent or whatever it is, comes directly out of the trust rather than mum and dad's own bank account. So if you've got that situation, when we're doing your tax planning, we'll be talking to you about it. But if you've got any questions, just reach out and ask.